per il bar eh, il designer ha voluto un look molto reale, English guys, from Liverpool, eh, natural hair, the shape is more rock and roll, in the same time elegant. L'uomo nel bar secondo me è un uomo eh, dinamico, moderno, eh, allo stesso tempo molto elegante. È sober, è clean, è super chic, è leather, ma allo stesso tempo Uh, I, I do wear a lot of men, Neil Barrett, but I have to say that lately the women collection uh, uh, is so super feminine, but at the same time it's really my style because it's a clean, chic, but rock and roll. I think um, what you always find in Neil Barrett, you find uh, you find an incredible sense of modernity, but also you see classicism too, uh, and his shows are always very, very strong. Neil is just uh, drawing and is just uh, directing uh, the menswear in a completely different direction that is very new, that is very modern, that is very powerful. So he has the capability to understand that what is the future and to interpret the future in a more concrete way. So it is uh, super important in this side also for the thinker in, in ways mixing uh, rock and uh, punk uh, in the way is uh, taking influences uh, from the from the underground scene to the mainstream. So it's very interesting to discover how he's working, how he's dealing with the, with the new menswear. Amazing, powerful, color is back and it's, it's again a very strong DNA of Neil Barrett. I really like it. I'm so proud of him. Collezione veramente un, un, un po' con un fascino un po' diverso, con un'aria atmosfera proprio rinnovata. Tipo il colore, il colore che parliamo sempre di nero, di grigio, di colori abbastanza, diciamo così, molto rarefatti, molto un colore sempre basici ma per l'uomo. Ho visto una, una sferzata di, di energia, tipo so, il marrone, ma non è un colore nuovo, è un'idea nuova, è un messaggio che arriva inaspettato perché vuol dire il marrone con il rosso, il marrone con il blu, cioè sono abbinamenti molto particolari però diversi. Neil sta facendo un lavoro da, da anni, da qualche stagione, fantastico. Stiamo lavorando benissimo con le sue cose. È un prodotto, veste un ragazzo che eh, tra lo sport, eh, diciamo sì, e il lusso, lo sport e il classico, uno sport couture. I loved about it was the nostalgia and for me it feels very British. It had a very British feel, the big chunky um, shearlings, the idea of the print coming from photographs that he'd had from his mother on the moors, the big prints across the t-shirt. It just felt much more everyday relevant for a man today. I loved the comfort of it, the, the jogging pants that were made of cashmere, the shoes, 
Uh, and I love the sense of luxury still within the idea of this everyday man. The mood is, is um, I would say, it's, it's quite, um, it's quite an easygoing, um, it's a day wear situation. Um, it's, everything has a little bit of an attitude. The, the trousers are a little bit higher. The, the knits and the outerwear are a little bit shorter. Um, and then on the showroom, you have other versions, which obviously are longer. But it's just, I wanted to give across a little bit of a slight attitude, a little bit more edgy, English. And I usually do something that's very global. I wanted to bring it back to my roots. So some of the pieces I particularly like, um, the, the Hawk Prince. Um, the Hawk Prince was the royal prince taken from, my, from Dartmoor, photographs of um, eagles and hawks, just to give that sort of strong graphic. Um, all the sheepskins with these distressed aged um, leathers, I particularly like because they're just, they're just something I would cover to wear. Very easy and make any guy very, very masculine. Otherwise, the same thing you see in the rayons or in knitwear. I love these, these sport track tops. They're actually knitwear um, with the intarsia, with these uh, graphical uh, sections. So basically, it's the idea of an old-fashioned second-hand sports top, but remade in knitwear, so it's super chic. Uh, but at the same time, with not just doing them simply, adding on detail and adding on something to make them resolutely 21st century with a slight nostalgic touch.